Hi, and good morning, or good evening in your case. This is, uh, this is the third lesson. This, is, this exercise we're going to do today is five phase qigong. There's five exercises in the set, funny, that's just five phases. And we're going to do the opening and closing first like we've been practicing. Then we're going to do the five phase qigong, we're going to do the first two. And then we're going to do the closing, and then we'll do any questions you've had to ask me, of course. I see Laura's online there. Hello, Laura, again. And I think we've got some people coming in from London. And there's also people from well, some Spain today as well. So I'd like to see that. And also I think there's some people from Greece as well. So welcome aboard. And we'll go through the lesson. So the five phase is quite a popular phase. There's, there's a colour involved with it. There's also a sound that comes with it. The a sound of the five phase sounds. And we'll go through those in the next six week period. We're going to do a six week block. And at the end of the six weeks, we're going to change and do another different set. So we have a bit of variety. So every six weeks for each of the lessons, we do a particular set and then we'll change it to another set. So we're doing this, the five phase for this particular one. The first we'll go through our stances again. Now the stances, if you, there's, there's already a stance lesson and a breathing lesson that I'm not going into too much detail on. I'll put it up and I'll put it up on, uh, on YouTube so you can see that. And I'll give you a link to it so you can find it. So you can go through the breathing one if you haven't already done it. So you need to do the breathing ones and also the stances and we have a bit more detail. We'll go through the stance but we won't go into much detail for as we did with the other time. So I, I encourage you to go and watch the other one too so just, and just get a hang of the, the stance itself. So when I'm talking about it you have a bit more of a deeper understanding. First of all we start with our feet towards the front again. Parallel to the front, bring our knees together. We're standing on our kidney points, knees apart. Good. We're seeing on the bottom end of our front part of our feet, our heels are on the ground, but there's no weight. Bring your, your knees out slightly above your toes. We stretch all our ligaments and tendons. In our mind, we think as our ankles relax, knees relax, hips relax. Tuck your pelvis and relax. You bring your pelvis forward and then sit down. Put up your perineum and relax. Squeeze your genitals and relax. Lower tummy, breathe out. Breathe in, relax. Head string stretch, if you stack, stretching all our vertebrae at the same time, breathing in, breathing out, relax. Elbows forward, elbows back. Shoulders forward, shoulders back. Bring your elbows to the side, holly your armpits, relax your shoulders, elbows, wrists, holly your palms, so you're holding something with your palms in your hands. Chin back, it's like you pull your chin back, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, lips slightly touching, relax your jaw, with your eyes just look without looking and hang from your head straight. Good, that's the quiescent standing form, and your body's all lined up. And we're going to do the exhaling, inhaling form, bring your hands onto the dantian. Remember, males put their left hand with their right over the top, women put their right with their left over the top. Bending down, breathing out. Try to clear all the energy out of your lungs. Breathe in. Hold your breath, stand up. So breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe in. Hold your breath, stand up. Good. Breathe out the way down. Breathe in. Clears all the perverse chi in your lungs, cleans out all the bronchioles, opens them all up. Breathe out. Now opening, closing the lower dantian, bending down, breathing out. This clears out perverse chi of our lower dantian. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's the three opening and closing exercises. They are designed to get our body all ready to do the training. So it's like the, a warm up for the exercises. So we've got our body all lined up. We've cleared our lungs. We've got all the bronchioles open so we can take the maximum amount of oxygen into our body system. And now we've just opened up our lower dantian, clean all the perverse chi out of our dantian, so we're ready to train. The five phase, the first one we're going to do is the lung exercise. Now, the lungs, of course, is in the, in the upper, upper gel. The lungs and the heart are in the same area, so that this exercise does the lungs. It also does the heart, but primarily is a lung exercise. The colour for the lungs is white. 
And so we start off with our, our palms facing towards the ground. We always have the point of the Lao Gong point facing to the ground and we have our kidney points. So we're standing on our kidney points, kidney one yong trying and not Lao Gong. So we're almost like a four points of contact towards the ground. We bring our hands together at the bottom. Now this is where your fingers are touching at the bottom. So we have our lung channel, which is our two thumbs, and our large intestine. The large intestine channel finishes the, finishes the, the lung, the end, and the lung channel finishes. Well, actually, the lung channel finishes here. The large intestine starts and goes up the other way. So one comes down, one goes up. Connect those two channels, and we bring them down to the bottom. We'll do this down here. So we start from there, and bring your hands around to the front, just like that. Bring your hands up to your chest, just in front of your heart and push your hands forward. Bring them to the side, keep your shoulders down. Try and don't bring your shoulders up, keep your shoulders down, that's it, good. And then bring your hands down. Link them up at the bottom again. Turn them over, bring them forward. Open your hands. And bring them down. Bring them in. Start a full breath, so breathe out. In. Breathe out. So it's done with two in and out breaths. So we're breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. to pick up your shoulders, keep your shoulders relaxed as possible. Also the breathing, the duration of the breath, so try and keep the in-breath and the out-breath duration the same, breathing out. So if we think of we're counting one, two, three, four on the way in, then we want to do one, two, three on four on the way out. So you're trying to keep it, regulate the breath. Breathing in. And relax the arms as much as possible. So you, you're trying to let your arms relax as so that you're doing the minimal amount of work inside your arms. So then just let them float up and float out. Good. So you want, don't want to be using as much minimal amount of muscles to move your arms. Then time, of course, the, the, the goal, of course, is to let the energy lift your arms. And so you don't have to use your muscles at all. Your muscles are used actually to stop your arms floating away. So the idea is to, to breathe in and let the energy move your arms. And your muscles just guide the energy. Breathing out. The arms just float up by themselves. Breathing out. Because you're standing on your muscles, and if you're not used to standing on the front part of your feet, because when we're, we're not standing on our heels, we're standing on the front part with our knees slightly bent. And what that does means you have to stand on your calf muscles, so they get a bit sore. So you just have a bit of a shake out. But they'll just get stronger and stronger as we keep doing those, so it'll be a lot easier, right? Cool. Next one. The next one's called um, looking east and west to. No, this one's not. This one's the kidney exercise. So the kidney exercise, the first one's a lung exercise, this one's a kidney exercise. 
the kidney exercise, the colour is black. And the exercise is done when we bring our arm up the back, we put our hand on our kidney. So our kidneys are just under our ribcage at the back. In here. We put our arm across the back. So we put the back of our hand, we put the back of our hand on our kidneys on the opposite side. Could we bring, we do increase our stance, we double our stance a little slightly to the side. The weight changes, doesn't change. Now the easiest way to remember this is, is when you turn, the same leg that turns is the same arm. And so as I come forward, I'm going to turn, and that leg that turns onto the toe, and this arm comes up. The arm turns around, facing towards the front. Then as it comes back around, the foot turns around, and comes down, does a circle. The weight stays double weighted, so it turns, comes up, turn the palm over, and then palm back. Good, the breathing, we breathe in on the way up, breathe out on the way down. Pick your arm up, try not to pick your shoulder, keep your shoulder down. We we'll always try and keep the pressure and the weight off the shoulders. Breathe in. Again, we're breathing in on the way up. Breathing out on the way down. Cool. Do one more. Breathe in. I'm going to swap hands. This hand goes behind. The other one comes out. Good. Face towards the ground. Remember the same hand, same leg. It's always had the easiest way to remember it. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, if you find the wide stance a bit difficult, you can always narrow the stance a bit and do it a bit easier if you like, breathing in. We'll make sure that the, the leg pivots, it turns around, you pivot on the toe, comes up, still pivots. Breathing out, keep the shoulders down, keep the shoulders down, the same thing. So you can do it at which, which angle you're comfortable with, doesn't matter. Just when it's a little bit deep in the start, your legs get a bit more of a workout, opens up the channels, or forces the energy in the channel. Kidney channel comes up the leg, comes up the leg, comes all the way up to the top, and then it goes also all the way to the eyes. Yeah? Breathe in. Also goes to the ears, there's internal channels that go to the eyes and also goes to the ears. Also goes to the tongue. But also links with the, the bladder channel itself, which is the, the yarn organ. Kidney is a yin organ, and connects with the bladder, which is a yang organ. You're like brother and sister. Breathing in, breathing out. Good.
count. The next exercise starts from the starts, but for this stage we'll come back to the centre. We'll rest with our hands by now. So that's the first two exercises. We're going to go over the, the other three in the next next six weeks, and then we'll get we'll do them in probably the next couple of weeks, and then we'll spend the last time just practicing them over and over again, and I'll give you a bit more detail and a little bit more about the medical applications of each of them and what they're actually used for. Or what energy channels they work and what they even some of the conditions they're good for. We'll just do the opening and closing at the end, so we always close them off doing the opposite the way we start. Bring your hands onto your dante end. Bending down, breathing out. Bring your hands to the side. Breathing in. Turn them over, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhaling, inhaling for, bending down, breathing out. Stay down here, breathe in, and through your nose, hold your breath. Breathe out on the way down. Clear all the energy out of your lungs. Breathe in the fresh air. Hold your breath, stand up. Good. Bending down, breathing out. Last one. Bring three notes. Hold your bed, stand up. Okay. And then bring your hands to your side. Bring your knees together. Bring your knees apart. Relax your ankles. Relax your knees. Relax your hips. Tuck your pelvis and relax. Pull up your perineum and relax. Pull up your genitals and relax. Or squeeze your genitals. Relax. Let your bum muscles relax. Head strength stretch. Breathe in. And relax. Lower tummy, put your tummy in, breathe out. Let your tummy muscles relax, breathe in. Go elbows forward, stretch your back, elbows back, stretch your chest. Shoulders forward, lift your scapula. Shoulders back, stretch your clavicle. Good. Your elbows slightly to the side, hold your armpits, relax your shoulders, elbows, wrists, hold your palms. Bring your chin back, tongue on the roof of your mouth, lips slightly touching, relax your jaws, and look straight ahead and relax your eyes, and hang from your head straight. Then do three in and out breaths and relaxing your breaths, so pulling your tummy and breathing out. Relax your tummy and breathe in. Breathe the option right down, breathe out, push it in, push the dry frame out. Let your tummy muscles relax, breathe in. Put your tummy in. Breathe in. Good. And just rest there. So shake your arms out a bit, shake your legs. That's good, you did well. So so what we're going to do is, for next, as I say, next one we're going to do the um, the next three, and we'll do the new do a two two, the next two, and add them to this one, and we will do a set of four of them. So we we'll just keep getting more and more of them until we go. I'll go and have a look online if there's any questions you have. Uh, just just I'll turn your speakers back on. I have to turn your speakers off, your your mics off because it gets feedback. I'll turn them back on. So if you want to ask me a question, you can ask me a question, or you can write in the chat box. And if you want to show me something, if you turn your camera on, I can see you as well, and then I can. I can go through the exercise as well for you if you like and we'll critique it. But other than that, we'll see you next week and keep practicing. And a good part of it, this is if you can't remember, you can always go back on YouTube and have a look at this again so you can do it again. So have a great day and all the best. Day. Well, I'll ask you questions now. Cheers. Bye-bye.